I come from a place of understanding people, a mm -hmm. place of love. So at love, you have to understand somebody and anybody that you understand and you speak to, you will understand even more. Like there's those shows on, on uh, Netflix that they do interviews to killers and they ask them, why did you kill? And when you listen to the story, all of a sudden you understand them. When you watch the TV show Narcos and you watch Pablo Escobar killing, you know, four or 5,000 people or blowing up a plane. And when you see the story, you still fall in love with Pablo. Mm. And you almost feel like what he did was right. Why is that? It's because every person has a story and every person sees it his way, which means that every person is right. This, what you see here is the translation of your mind. Do you see this blue? I see a blue. Who said that we see the same blue? But I'm right and you're right. We are both right. So that's why you have to understand people. And at some point in time, you know, if I'm going to have a conversation with Andrew, of course, I'm going to explain to him. One, I'm not going to get into the conversation with him if he's not really interested in getting into that conversation. But if he is, I'll be more than happy to explain to him. You know, people look at him as this bad guy. I never looked at him as a bad guy because you could clearly see that he's not a bad guy. Yes. You could see that he's actually still a kid inside of him and he finally made it. And he has to tell the world, F everybody, I did it. I did it. I did it. Right? Because he went from being a nerd, you know, wearing glasses and going into being a kickboxer and then becoming a multimillionaire and being super successful on social media and the most talked about man on social media. Of course, he wants to tell everybody to F you because he made it after everybody told him he wasn't going to make it. It's the same thing that happened to me. Everybody told me I wasn't going to make it in every single thing that I've done in my life. We have a very similar story. He was a nerd. I was like a little pretty boy, a sweet kid, the sweetest kid you'll ever meet. The animal that you see in front of you now is just what the world has created. Mm. And sometimes as much as we want to say it, I mean, we want to say we want to be heroes, we want to be heroes, but sometimes what the world doesn't need is, doesn't need a hero. Sometimes mm -hmm. what it truly needs is a monster. Mm -hmm. And in times like this with Hamas, what they've done, what they need to see is a monster. They don't need to see a hero coming in and saying, oh, you know what? You've raped our women, you've killed our children, you've kidnapped our people. Let's go ahead and give you half of Israel. No. That's not times that you show a hero, you know? And the things that I do and I believe in, and, you know, he's someone, Andrew is somebody that stands very strong with his beliefs. And he's an extremely intelligent person. Very. As somebody that stands exactly like him and stands behind all of my words and my beliefs, I believe this and I trust in this too and I'll go by it any single every single time any day of the week any day of the month I'd rather be judged by the world and stand by God absolutely than be than be judged by God and stand with the world I'm the kind of person that will stand by God and I have no problem being judged by the whole world. But I will never stand by the whole world and be judged by God. There's no way it's not going to happen. Because anytime I do anything, even when I do something good for a friend and he screws me over, the relationship and the gifts and the amount of things that I've done for him, that was not between me and him. The deal was between me and God. Mm -hmm. So if he screwed me over, it has nothing to do with me and him. It doesn't even bother me. My score was countered by God. And it's one more thing that I did that was good, and another good thing, and another good thing. And that's why, no matter what, 
I'd rather stand by God and be judged by the whole world than be judged by God and stand by the whole world.